Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Seashore Sixth Grade Math. Um, we're going to continue our topic on the finding the area of rectangle and parallelogram, okay? And let me um, share you my screen. We're going to do a quick recap from last class. Okay, can you all see my screen? If you yes. Can. Okay, very good. All right, now we're gonna um, talk about the definition first, okay? Uh, all right, so Elijah, can you tell us what is the definition to figure out the area of a rectangle? You do the length times the width, and then you, for centimeters, you do the unit square. Good job, excellent, okay? And um, also, we wanna, you know, um, say if we call the horizontal, the area of a rectangle is the length times width, just like Elijah told us. All right, if we wanna um, figure out the height, we use the, the the width okay is like the length width and then if we call the horizontal side is the base then the vertical side would be the height okay all right so we can find the area of rectangle by using the base times height okay and now we're gonna um do the definition for the parallelogram okay um i need aiden can you uh, read us this sentence. Mm -hmm. Like a rectangle. Can you start from here? Like a rectangle, a par. Wait, what was that? Parallelogram. 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 Is a. I can't read that. Cool. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. What? Okay, very good. Good job, Aiden. All right, so we gonna give more clear uh, about this definition. So this one says a parallelogram for those picture picture one, two, three, and four. Those those are called the parallelogram, and then the definition is this one has two pairs of parallel side okay so whenever you see the sign like this that means it's two pair parallel each other okay so if you see on the uh, question it will tell you those two pairs equal to you know the, the two pair is like parallel to each other and we're gonna move on to the next one we want to figure out the height for the parallelogram okay that's how josiah can you um read this sentence start from to find the height of a parallelogram to find the height of a parallelogram we can draw a line segment that is perpendicular to the base the height is the perpendicular distance from the baseline to a parallel to the base that passes through the opposite side. Great job, thank you. So from the definition, we can see clearly over here, this is uh, number one parallelogram. We wanna figure out the height. So this is the base, and then we wanna figure out the height. We wanna draw a line segment is perpendicular to the base. And then this line is the height for this parallelogram, okay? So is the distance from the base to a line parallel to the base. This is 
and this one need to pass through the opposite side. Okay, so you need to pass through the opposite side. So this one is the side, is not the height. This is the side. Same thing, go over here. We want to figure out the height for this parallelogram. So this is the base. We draw a line. We draw a straight line to this one, and then it will parallel. This side is parallel to the base, and then this is the height, uh, call it perpendicular height for the for the parallel parallelogram. Okay, if you just join us. We were just talking about uh, the review uh, about the definition for a parallelogram and how to find a perpendicular height for the parallelogram. Okay, now we move to if we want to figure out the area for the parallelogram, then it will be the base times the height, but this height need to be perpendicular height to the base, okay? All right, um, now we did a quick review from last time. Now we need to uh, move to over here. So this is, it says area of parallelogram is the base times the height. And then the height needs to be perpendicular to the base. Those are the definition we just went over earlier. And now we're gonna um, start So how do you find the um, area of a parallelogram? I I'm sorry, can you say it again? So with the area of a parallelogram, do you times base times, yeah. All right, thank you. Is the, yeah, is the base times the height. But sometimes the question will trick you by the height. So you need to figure out the height, which is the perpendicular to the base, okay? All right, so for example, for this one, parallelogram A, B, C, D, it has the base for six CM from A and B. Okay, this is the base. So it tells us the height is four centimeter. So this is perpendicular height, okay? We figure out the area for this parallelogram ABCD will be six times four, and then the area will be 24 square centimeter, okay? And we move to the next one. Okay, so if we have this kind of, um, parallelogram, how can we figure out the area? So we gonna draw the extended line through there and then figure out the height, perpendicular height. And from there, we can do the base. Remember, the base is only this part. This is not the base because this is an extended line we drew for this one to figure out the, the height, right? So if you wanna e use the equation to figure out the area for this kind of uh, parallelogram, the base is only this part. So it would be the base times the height times this height, that's it, okay? Um, so up to this point, if you have a, if you don't have a question, give me zero on the group chat, please. Okay, all right. So we will continue. Uh, We will continue. So last time we tried to figure out the example. Um, we, we, we went over example two. So we wanna identify the base and the height, okay? So 
the base for example to question A. Uh, let's see. Chris, can you tell us what is the base for example to question A? Yeah, yeah. The base, the yes. base, okay. Um, the base is five centimeters. Great job. Okay, thank you. The base is five centimeter, and then if we want to figure out the area, so the base five centimeter times the height, and what is the height, Josiah? What is the height for question? Um, the high for question A. Okay. So again, remember we say the we need to pay extra attention on the parallelogram, okay? Especially to finding the height. The height need to do perpendicular to the base. So the height is three centimeter. So the area for this perpendicular uh, parallelogram would be 15 centimeter square, okay? If you have no question, give me zero. All right, all right, now we're gonna move to question B. Uh, Okay, so if you if you have a question regarding finding the area, we did a quick review earlier. So let me recap it, okay? The area to figure out the area for parallelogram is the base times the perpendicular height. And how are we gonna find the perpendicular height? Let me score it back over there, we have a clearly definition and then we went over on the definition is that we wanna find the height for the parallelogram, we draw a line segment that is perpendicular to the base. So the, if this is the base, we draw a line perpendicular to the base, then the height, the distance would be the height. Ms. Serena? Yes. Somebody has a question. Okay. Um, then can you unmute yourself and... Um, yes. You have a question on um, which part? I didn't hear for part of this. I'm um, sorry? I wasn't here for the start of this. Oh, so, okay. Um, um, that's okay. Um, you can... You can check on the YouTube video, okay, from okay. earlier. We, we already um, recorded, okay? And um, okay. So, so for the, we want to figure out the area for the parallelogram is the base times the perpendicular height. Now we want to work on this one. This is a quick recap, okay? We did this practice last time. So for Example two, question B, we want to figure out the area. Aiden, can you tell us what is the base for question B? Uh, the base? Yes, the base. Uh, I don't know. Oh, five centimeters. Okay, so very good. So the base is five centimeter. Okay, so this will be the base times the height. And then this height is perpendicular to the base. So we know the base five centimeter, then what would be the height? Blaine, can you tell us what would be the height? Uh, so, uh, so, so we uh, say the um, PQ, the length, the PQ segment is five, and then what would be the height for 
for PQ? Uh, so 4.8 centimeters. Great job, excellent, okay. So this is the way we figure out the base and the height. So we wanna figure out the area for this uh, parallelogram. We use the base five centimeter times the height 4.8 centimeter. So the answer will be 24 centimeter square. Okay. If you have a question, give me one. If you don't have a question, give me zero. If you have no question, give me zero. Okay, excellent. All right, now we're gonna move to try it. Okay, we stopped on question B last time, but I will do a, a recap for how to figure out try, to, try it number two, question A. It says identify the base and the height first. So what is the base on question A? Charlie, can you tell us what is the base? Wait, me? Yes. Oh, Charlie. okay. The base. Wait, is it 2.5? Wait, I don't understand this. I just got in the class. Okay, the base will be perpendicular to the height, right? So this is the base. The okay. base will be 7.5 okay, from the segment N in. to Q. Okay, and then the height, what will be the height, Chris? What will be the height? Bro, my background is fire. The height would be two centimeters. The height would be two centimeters. Excellent. Great job. Yes. Okay. So we want to use 7.5. 7.5 times 2 because this is the formula to figure out the area. So everyone, I need you type in the answer, include the unit for me on the group chat. Yes, include the unit, okay? So it will be 15 centimeters square. Okay, so it would be like this, 15 centimeters square because we are figuring out the area. Again, area is the square, okay? Excellent, I think everyone got it, excellent. Now everyone, let's figure out B together, okay? Question B. Um, Sebastian, I need you to tell us what is the base for question B? Um, the base is 8.5. Uh, how about Blaine? Can you tell us what is the base for question B? Uh, so... Uh... Question for B. Uh, so the height would be uh, three centimeters. Okay, um, that's, let's go back to the definition for the height. Okay, and the, here it says the definition for the height is a line segment that is perpendicular to the base. So first of all, where is the base? For those, 
Those are called the base, right? Or side. Each different, we have four sides, right? So the base, if this is the base, then this would be the height. So vice versa. If you see this is the height, then this part would be the base. Okay, so let's move to our question. Over here, what will be the height? Um, Aiden, can you, can you tell? Can you guys hear me better when I'm like this? The height is... Three centimeters? The height. The height is the segment go through from the base and then go through all the way to the other side. It's... So whenever you see the sign like this, let me erase my... Um, let me erase some of the parts so it, it would be more clear. Is it 12 centimeters? Um, let's figure out the base and the height first, okay? So for question B, you see the, the height. This is perpendicular height, okay? Because it touched the base. So if you see this sign, that means this part is the height from H to I. All right, if you have a height like this, then your base will be over here from D to E. So we wanna figure out the area for this parallelogram. It would be the base three times the height, 8.2, okay? Uh, okay, I think. All right, so what would be the answer? I need everyone, um, I'm sorry, 8.2. I need everyone, you give, give me the answer, include the unit. You just need to type once and then you can share your answer with everyone. Very good. Remember, include the unit, okay? Excellent. All right, we will stop right here. I think I got all the correct answer, okay? Except for some of the unit. Yes, square units, yes. Yes, all right. So we're gonna move on to the next example okay so i'm gonna exit out to this screen and then show you a different screen aiden that background is the best it, it's pretty fire it really is not gonna lie Okay, can you all see my screen? If you cannot see it, please give me one. Okay, and then I can see who is drawing on the board. Please do not do that, okay? Thank you. Yeah, well, I just stop writing. All right, now we're gonna move to example three. All right, Kaylee, I need you read the question first and then we will solve the problem together. Okay. Can you go up a little bit? There's some words that are covered. Nico can't see the screen. 
Okay, let me let me make the screen bigger. Is it better? Um, is it the question yes. A, question B, or the one on the top? Pretty nice. Actually. Example three, question A. Um. Okay. The base is BC. The height, which is outside the figure, is DE. Oh, okay, very good. You you um, you tell us how to solve the problem already. Very good. I um, so we have the parallelogram for A B C D. This shape, right? Mm -hmm. And then we want to figure out. We want to figure out the area for A B C D. So first of all, we need to find the perpendicular height. How we do that? We need to extend this part um, yeah. from C to E because we want to draw a perpendicular height here. Okay. Okay. So this is an extended part. Okay. Can I um draw it to do it? Uh, okay. Yep. I would do that. Okay. All right. So. Uh, Holly, can you tell us what is the area? What is the formula to figure out the area of a uh, parallelogram? How about Sophie? Can you tell us? All right, who want to share what is the formula to figure out the parallelogram? Base times height. Base times height. Thank you. Very good. And for this height, we need to emphasize the height will be perpendicular to the base. Okay, so this is how it looked like, right? So now we have, we have the height and then we have the base. So um, let me see who can answer me. Um, I can. Chris? Chris, how about you? Can you tell us what is the base for question A? Okay. The base is 4.3. Excellent. Base is yes. 4.3 because we have the segment from B to C is 4.3. And then what is the height? Chris, what is the height? Uh, 10 centimeters. Excellent, good job. All right, so everyone, I need you to type your answer to this area. 4.3 times 10 equal to, what is the answer? I need you to share your answer with the unit um, on the group chat. Good job. What do we have? All right, very good. So we have 43, okay? So this is our answer, 43 centimeters square. Remember the area is always unit square, okay? And then same thing, we're gonna go move to um, B. Excellent, I think everyone get it. We wanna move to B. Again, if you see the parallelogram like this, then you need to extend Extend the line and then figure out, extend the line and then figure out the height. The you question you like tell us background? the area for a parallelogram EFGH is two because the base is two, okay? Base is two times the height. This is the height. So this will
few throws or something for me. Um, Same. Same. Yeah, I think the teacher frozen for you guys. Good. Same. <laughs> Chris, is the teacher frozen for you? Yeah. Yes, I, think, I can't I see her. The teacher accidentally the teacher pressed frozen. Alt F4. Yeah. Did she just oh, leave? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I think. Guys, the don't leave. Left. She might come back. Don't leave. Oh fools! I get to change all of your names while she's gone. Oh no. Kaylee, don't be there. <laughs> Isn't my background amazing? Recording, you know. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. Hi, Sebastian. 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 Hi, that's it. <laughs> this is it's pretty fire. Though. It is pretty f What? <laughs> I think the teacher Come pressed Alt F4. Hey, she's back. Oh, dang. She, she is? is. <laughs> yeah, she's back. Wait, is she a student now? No. Like, no. She's host. <laughs> but she's still frozen. Um, no. What's going on? And she left again. I don't oh. know. <laughs> she left again. She's here. She's here. I'm so confused. Wait, you are. Wait, what's Do you think happening here? Oh my god. Everything's frozen. I don't know again what's happening. I can't hear you. You're muted. Okay. Did somebody make me host? I have no idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what was going on right now. All right, I need everyone oh, okay. mute oh, your microphone, you. okay? Everyone, I need you mute your microphone. Okay, can you all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, yes. we're going to continue, okay? I will share your the screen, and then we will continue. Wait, what happened? Um, I don't know. I, I got disconnected, so I locked back in. Did you hit all F4? No, I did not hit anything. I, I just I just got disconnected. All right. All right. Everyone, we're done with the practice. Now we're going to do the try it number three. You need to identify the base and the height of each parallelogram and then find its area. So that's figure out uh, question A first. OK. Let's figure out question A first. Um, I need you rename your screen name, please. Everyone. Everyone? Yes. If you have the, you know, if you have a, your name up, then that is good. But please. Rename your screen name. Yes, thank you. All right, uh, Charlie, can you tell us, can you identify the base and the height for question A? The height is um, 3.9 that's, that's, that's figure. Let's oh. figure out the base first. What is the base? Um, do not draw on the note because I can see who is drawing, okay? Please do not do that. Thank you. All right. So, uh, the base, what is the base for question A? Charlie? 4.2 centimeters. Excellent. So, this is the base, okay? 4.2 centimeter. And then, what is the height, Blaine? The height will be the extend, we're going to extend this part and then we figure out the height, right? But in this topic, the, this question, it already tells us the height 
over here, which is perpendicular to the base 4.2, right? For this part, T to Q. So the height would be 3.5. So let's figure out the area would be 4.2, the base times the height, 3.5. Everyone, I need you figure out the answer for this. And then uh, type the answer on the group chat. Include the unit. Great job, okay. Yes, so the answer is 14.7 centimeters square. Excellent. Remember when you figure out the area, it's square unit, okay? Excellent, I think everyone get it, okay. All right, now we're gonna move to B. B, we just need to identify the base first, and then, let's see. Chris, can you tell us what is the base for B, for this figure B? The base is 19 centimeters. Uh, the base is 19 centimeters. Okay, when, when you see this one, When you see the um, sign like this, that means this is the height. This mm. height is perpendicular to the base, to this base, okay? So the one you say 19 centimeter, this is the height. We need the height anyway, okay? So the area for this parallelogram is the base times the height. So uh, Aiden, can you tell us what is the base? Is it nine? No. Uh, let me erase it. Probably you cannot see it clearly, okay? Let me try to erase this part. This part. Okay, so what will be the... Mm, 19 centimeters? Okay, so let me uh, explain it one more time, okay? The, this, is, this is the extended line. This is the extended line from uh, here. This is the extended line from C to D over here. So we have CE, and then we figure out the height. So whenever you see this sign, this is, this means the height is perpendicular to the base. So earlier we figured out the height is 19. Now we want to know the base. Blaine, can you tell us what is the base? Uh, okay, the base. Uh... The base would be uh, uh, eight centimeters. Very good. So the base is eight centimeters. So we can figure out the area. Eight times 19. This will be the area for our parallelogram, A, B, C, D, okay? May I uh, everyone, I, I, yeah, I need you um, type the answer on the group chat, include the unit, okay? Everyone, include the unit. I'm 
Excellent, Elijah. Okay, so remember the area we need to include the unit square. Good job, good job. D in square. Excellent. All right, if you have no question um, over here, I need you to give me zero. Excellent, zero. Yeah, that's correct answer. All right, we're gonna practice, we're gonna uh, go over the last example over here, okay? So Josiah, can you read the example number four? Example number four? Yes. Um, a garden in the shape of a parallelogram has an area of 54.6 meters squared. The perpendicular distance between the two longer sides of the garden is 6.5 meters. What is the length of each longer side? Excellent, thank you. All right, so from here, we clearly can see it tell us um, it has the area, tell us the, the area. And then they have the height. They just want us to figure out the base. So this is like the reverse, right? So again, we plug in the formula. Area is 54.6 meters squared. And then we don't know the base, which is the length of the side. And then we know the height. So we do the calculation 54.6 divided by 6.5. And then we have the length of the side, which is our base is 8.4. Excellent. All right. So this is um, like you just plug in the number and then solve the unknown number. That's it. Now we're gonna go over to try it. Okay, uh, Kaylee, can you read the question for try it number four, please? Sure, try it number four. A piece of cardboard is in the shape of a parallelogram. If the length of one side is 80 centimeters and the area of the cardboard is 3,600 centimeter squared. Find the perpendicular distance between the given pair of opposite sides. Excellent, thank you so much, okay? So here, I will give you 30 seconds to think over the question, and then I just need you to share your thinking process, okay? Me? Uh, no, no, for everyone. Oh, okay. For everyone, okay? <laughs> for everyone, okay? That's for everyone. Everyone, you think over the question. And then later, I'm going to ask you your thinking process for solving this problem. All right? You're going to share. But if you, if you know how to calculate and even give me the answer already, that's perfect. That's wonderful. Excellent. Uh, whoever is drawing on the notes, I can see you. Do not do that, okay? All right, now we're gonna have Chris. Can you share us your thinking process? I didn't get the answer yet. No, 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 you don't need to give us the answer. You just uh, tell us how do you solve the problem if you see this kind of problem. You look for the perpendicular, and then you find the number. Yeah. All right. So it tells us the area equal to the base times the height, right? So the yeah. area right now is 3,600 centimeters square. And then we have the base is 80 centimeter right, equal to 80 centimeter. So we want to divide it by 80 centimeter. And then it will give us the height, the perpendicular height. So we do like this, then the answer will be 45 centimeter. Okay, so basically we just 
use the formula and then just plug in the number, do the calculation, all right? So if you have any question, give, give me one on the group chat. If you don't have a question, just give me zero, okay? All right, very good. And then now I send out to everyone for today's attendance. I need you typing your number, uh, your name, okay? And um, other than your name, please do not type anything. And um, all the notes, all the documents will be, all the notes, all the documents will, is already uploaded to the Google Classroom. So you can, um, go to Google Classroom, download all the notes and homework. We have a homework book, four question as our homework for today. So please um, go to the Google Classroom. Um, school portal, we have the link from there to go into our Google Classroom, okay? Um, I haven't been able to get to the homework because of my email problems, so... Um... Um, and um, I think you might need to uh, contact with with our um, the docs. Uh, okay, Mrs. Mrs. I think is Ashley. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Thank you, everyone. You guys have a wonderful day. Okay. I don't have the docs. Thank you. You don't have the doc. Check on the Google Classroom. Bye. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. You guys have a good Bye. day. Bye. 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 Okay. I'm trying to leave. Oops.